guys, it's Ashton. And it's John with Up Sub Sandwiches. We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're reacting to CDI Part 1 Hotel Mario Angry Video Game Nerd Episode 59. Yes, Angry Video Game Nerd. Yes. Go and subscribe to Cinna Massacre, guys. They make some he makes some fucking great shit, honestly. Do you hear how loud that is? Yeah, that train's loud as fuck. Um, anyway, this was a suggestion for Rom Grant. Grantie's notes. You better highlight that. Fucking damn right, I'm gonna highlight that shit. I like that shit. John. Anyway, guys, let's. If you guys also want to support our channel just like he did, click the link down below in the description. Streamlabs.com slash Ashton Johnson. And if you guys donate $10, we'll react to a video for you within two to four days. Days. Yeah. Um, always include the video link, title, your email, and keep it on 10 minutes, and let's get to this video. Yeah. The audio okay? This is one of the original stuffed Donkey Kongs from the early 1980s. <laughs> original. Why does he have to have his hands like this? Like, what's he trying to tell us? And look at his face. He knows it's funny. It's like, hey, hey, you, you, fuck you. <laughs> Kind of does, yeah. He's gonna take you back to the past to play the shitty games and suck ass. He'd rather have a buffalo. Take a diarrhea dump in his ear. He'd rather eat the rotten asshole of a roadkill skunk and down it with beer. He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. He had the fucking Nintendo gauntlet, this fucking glove with the buttons on it. That thing was legendary back in the day. He's got it on right there. Oh boy. Let's talk about the Philips CDI. Now if you're not familiar with the backstory, I'll give you a quick little rundown. Nintendo was working in conjunction with Philips to produce a CD-based add-on for the Super NES, which never came through. Now, Nintendo is also working with Sony on the same concept, and we all know what came of that, the PlayStation. But as for Philips, they too made their own game console, however, they had permission to utilize some of the Nintendo franchises. Now, what came of that was a shitty Mario game and three shitty Zelda games. Wait, the faces of I don't remember any of this shit. This happened? Zelda's Adventure and Zelda The Wand of Gamelon. Okay. These games are notorious for their legendary ass suckage, which is hard to believe. How could there exist a bad Zelda game, let alone three of them, and on a console that's not Nintendo? Well, if you haven't heard of them, you might think you're living under a rock. But let me tell you, it's a rock worth living under. Before we begin, let's talk about the console itself. To begin with, it barely fucking works. That's a good start, right? I had Holy to buy shit. three. Yeah, three CDIs before I got one that's functional. The oh. first one wouldn't read the discs. The second one right here had the same problems. I haven't returned it yet just because I wanted to show you what it looks like. So then finally, I got this big beast. Look how huge it is. It looks like one of those old VCRs. It is the biggest video game console I've ever seen. Literally, you can fit two of these inside it. If you remember my Atari 5200 video where I commented how big it was, well, both consoles are ridiculously huge, but the Holy CDI shit. just barely wins. Just barely it know work? it's fucking yes, taller it does, and bigger. At first, I thought the controller input was broken. I have four different controllers, and none of them worked, except for the wireless one, which sucks so bad it isn't worth it. Then I found out that there's another input on the back. So the one in the front is either broken or intended for the second player. This means that every time I want to swap a controller, I have to pull out the whole console. Holy shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. Inhumanity, man. Fucking piece of shit. That is a pain in the ass. True that. I couldn't both be on the front. Seriously, I couldn't even imagine what they were thinking. But let's talk about the controllers. One is your average regular ass controller. The next one looks like a spoon. I really don't understand it. And this one has this awkward joystick. 
It's so stiff. It's basically just a stick on top of a regular D-pad. Then you have the wireless one. This is the standard controller that comes with the system, but as I've said, it's terrible. Your finger keeps slipping off the joystick and the buttons are too close. Imagine if you were trying to play Nintendo 64 and all the buttons were clustered around the joystick. For your average point and click game, it's okay, but for an action game like Zelda, it is nearly impossible to use this controller. It's all worth it just to play such classics as Sticky, Sticky Bear, Bear Reading, Lamb Chops Play Along. Lamb Chop, holy shit. What was that? That, that was familiar. a kid's show, Lamb Chop. And was it was it? a fucking girl with the lamb, yeah. It was a puppet. I remember that. Yeah, that was, you barely remember that probably because that was like you were two to three and I was like three to four. Thorpe. Yeah, it had its share of educational games, some action games, but let's cut the bullshit and get to the ones you want to hear about. The Zelda games are pretty rare and kind of expensive. Zelda's adventure was over 180 US dollars. Mm -hmm. Not counting the money I had refunded for the bad consoles, all this in total cost about 700 bucks. I've been dying to do a CDI review for a long time, and partly due to financial and technical difficulties, that's what's been holding me back. But well, yeah, that's we a lot of Zelda money. Games, let's start off with Hotel Mario. Whole fucking tell Mario? One, what? Was Whole zero fucking because hell? this one was a donation. Thanks, Casey. You might as well have sent me a turd wrapped in tinfoil. <laughs> as the game begins, you get a ridiculous cutscene. Nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Reminds me of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, but way more cheesy. The game oh my is god, not what you'd expect. brutal. I mean, with a title like Hotel Mario, I guess I really didn't know what to expect, but not this. All you do is run around and shut doors. Yeah, seriously, the goal is to shut all the doors before the time runs out, then advance to the next stage. Couldn't they have come up with something better? Like, how about kill all the Goombas and Koopa Troopas, but shut doors? As much fun as that sounds, it's even more fun when the doors Mario is actually again. the villain of the think series. You're about to shut the last door and beat the level, another door opens, and by the time you run all the way over there, another one opens. Also, it seems that there's always somebody in your way. Like if I jump at the wrong time, I hit the Goomba on the top. Even if I try to stomp an enemy, I end up bouncing up and getting my ass killed. Oh, look here. That's I'm fucking totally dumb. Killed. Here I go, I'm kicking ass. Fuck, you gotta watch the doors. Speaking of doors, you can this actually hide dumb. in the doors, which helps out sometimes. But these things with the arrows, let's talk about them. They're elevators, or they could be stairwells, whatever. Where the arrow points make sense. They go up, they go down. But the controls take some time to get used to. By instinct, if I see a down arrow, I press down but that's not how it works. You have to hit up, regardless of which elevator you're on. And when you arrive at the other end, you're in that hiding position, so you have to hit down to step out. So often, you find yourself having to hit up on the down arrow, and when you go down to the up arrow, you press down. That's confusing that's as fuck. Confusing. And the elevator <sighs> don't always go where you expect. No, it takes me to the other side where I get killed by the fucking caterpillar. The game is actually more reminiscent of arcade games from the early 80s, like Donkey Kong and Mario Brothers. And for something like that, Hotel Mario actually isn't too bad. It is challenging, I'll give it that. But the fact is, this was not the early 80s, this was 1994, and it was a next generation console. Originally, they planned to release a sequel to Super Mario World, titled Super Mario's yes. Wacky World. But it was cancelled, and what we got was this. Wow. Wow, that is nothing compared All to Super Mario. All the stuff is a shit sandwich that's too big for one mouthful. So check in for part two, we're gonna look at the Zelda games. Holy shit, that was fucking garbage. Mm -hmm. They thought that was gonna follow up Super Mario oh. World. Super Mario World is the best Mario game like ever made by far. Oh I my like, god. I still feel like the Mario games are like Super Mario games are really good. They Even are. Even though we're older. But remember Super Mario World? That was the best by far. Yeah. And they thought that was gonna up it. That's fucking garbage. I that looks one. like Super Mario Bros. I had a, I don't remember which one it was, but I had one on. <clears throat> my uh, Game Boy back when I had a Game Boy, and uh, Super Mario Bros. I think that's the one it was. Yeah. Game Boy Advance. Yeah, and um, there was a hundred levels, and there was like three levels that I could not beat. But we were like, my sister and brother helped me. And I think there was like maybe two after all, 
it was all said and done that we did not beat. Really? Mm-hmm, but we I were played like, Yoshi's World. Remember Yoshi's World? No. It was where you got to play as Yoshi and throw eggs at shit and eat people. I don't think I did that one. That game was awesome and I loved it. And it included a feature of Super Mario Bros. I liked um, the one where... I think it's party or something is that yeah. super mario party mario parties are lit is that where you did like all the different things it's a board play? game and then you get mini games yes we should those buy that. are amazing that's probably my favorite one those are fucking great we oh buy... my god yes we should should we, we order should go it? get a tenor right now just for that fucking reason do they have it yes at the store if they still make it super yeah they still make mario party are you serious i'm sure they do yes should we do it Bro. Yeah, like right now, go get it. I'll fucking hook it up tonight. We'll be gaming tonight. Are you serious? Yeah. I don't know if I'll get the right one though. Just get the newest one. If there's a Super Mario Party fucking ten or eleven, get the fucking eleven. If it's eleven or twelve, get the twelve. If it's twelve, thirteen, get the thirteen. What if they don't have any? You will have to research. And then you it. tell that little fucker working at Walmart to get it. And he's get a real job and start producing John. Mario games. John. We should look online and see if they make them. Anyway, guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye, guys.